Righto. Let's talk about roots. Sorry, I'm eating my apple. I'm really hungry. Snack time just didn't do it for me. Okay. Roots. Now, we already know something very, very similar to roots. We already know about exponents. What does 5 squared equal? 10. Mm. It's 25. It's 25. Don't forget the most common mistake with exponents is people think something like that equals something like this. Are those two equal? No, not equal. Like you know, I'm, oops, <laughs> whoa. Apparently I think that as well. I do make that mistake, by the way. I make that mistake all the time. Everyone does. This is the base. This is what you're multiplying. This is the number of times you're multiplying it. Now, do you know what roots are? They are small numbers. They indicate smaller numbers. If you have an exponent, it makes it a big number. A root makes it a small number. Yeah. Roots are, in fact, you can think of it as the inverse of exponents. Hmm. The inverse of exponents. You know what the inverse means? Like two, that's the bigger number, and five, that's the smaller number. Ooh, good guess. Not quite. Um, the word inverse, the word inverse means sort of flipped upside down, like the opposite of, like it's sort of turned on its head, yeah. if you will. Now let me show you let me show you what a root is. I'm going to solve a couple, and I'm going to see if you can figure out the pattern. We're introducing this new symbol. It's like a divide sign, but it's got a little check on the end. So I just like make a check, and I sort of put a top on. Mm. Yeah, it's called a root. Now, root of 36 equals 6. Root of 49 equals 7. The root of 64 equals 8. The root of 81 equals 9. It is 9. Very good. Why is it 9? Because it's squared. What is squared? 9 and 9. 9 times mm -hmm. 9 is 81. Mm -hmm. so. What's 8 times 8? 64. 7 times 7? 49. 6 times 6? 36. Beautiful. You figured it out. I knew you would. I always knew it. I'm going to give you a new term. Everything I just showed you is called a perfect square. A perfect square is something that when you take the root of it, the square root of it, it turns out perfectly as a whole number. Yeah. For example, the root of 25 equals 5. The root of 36 equals 6. The root of 49 equals 7. Those are all perfect squares because they turn out to be whole numbers. Yeah. Now, sometimes they're not so perfect. Let's take the root of 50. That's 1 away from 49. But it's a long way from the root of 64 which equals 8. So the number is between 7 and 8. Because the root of 49, the root of 64, the root of 50 is in between 49 and 64. So the answer is somewhere between 7 and 8. Try, the, try typing in 50 on the calculator. Oh, boy. If you're using that one, you have to type in the root first. So let me show you. Second function, and then see this root sign here? Root, and then type in the value. And then close the parentheses. Very good, hit enter. What is that number? 7, oh, 7, 1, 10, no, 1, 10, 67, 81, 2. Blah, 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 blah. It's a really ugly number, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect 
perfect squares are really nice. You know why? Yeah. They're pretty numbers. They're pretty numbers like 7, they're pretty numbers like 8. The root of 50, is that a perfect square? Uh, no. It's no. not perfect. It's not perfect. Not even close. It's some ugh, ugly number. And don't like it. Terrible. Okay. Now, there's something else you need to know about roots. And that's all I want to show you about roots. You cut on quick. Way to go, man. Yeah. Oh, actually, sorry. Two more things. Two more things. Okay, first... What we are doing today is actually called square roots. I sort of called it roots to start because it's just easier, but what they are truly is square roots. You could put a 2 down here if you want, although you don't have to. Everyone assumes that it could be a square. It's, it's just squared. What is the square root of 16? Um, the square root of 16 is 4. Mm -hmm. Because? It's 4 times 4. Very good. Now, I want to show you that there also exists something called a cube root. 8 and 3. Now this is a bonus, this is a really, this is a trick question, but what do you think that is? Uh, four. Four? Four times four equals sixteen. So not quite. Four and two. No, is eight. Four and two is eight. Very good. But it's something times itself times itself again. The square root of sixteen equals four because four times four equals sixteen. Yes. Actually, I shouldn't put an equal sign there. That's not quite right. But we know this, right? The yeah. cube root of 8 is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Also known as 2 cubed. Yeah. Cubed? Cube root? Kind of neat, hey? Yeah. 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 But we're not going to get into cube roots, and there's further roots than that. You can take the 4th root of something, the 5th root, the 11th root of something. Um, not that you'd ever really need to do that for any reason, but, well, any of this is sort of abstract. But, nonetheless, just know that what we're focusing on today is called square roots. There are other kind of roots. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this. This is something you're going to like. I'd like to see what you think of the pattern. Square root of 89 squared is? Um, um, in between. Careful. Look at the pattern. Seven. I saw these really quickly in my head because it's it's actually it's it's a neat it's a neat sort of idea. The square root is 89. The answer is 89. Very good. Okay. Just want to make sure. Let me show you why. I'm going to do the full steps. I'm going to solve the exponent first. The square root of 7 squared is also equal to the square root of 49, because 7 squared equals? 49. Right. What's the root of 49? 7. Mm -hmm. 11 squared is 121. Yeah. The square root of 121 is 11. Yeah. Same for any number. You can put any number in here, it's going to turn out to be the same. Yeah. Deal? Yeah. Excellent. Way to go, man. That was quick. Caught on super quick today.